Hello everyone, Prey Scooter here, and welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Mania! Last time... We... Showed Eggman that my... Cinematic skills are far superior to his. Cause he, cause he decided to implement... Gambling into his cinemas. Actually, not a bad game plan. I need to start studying. Anyway, welcome to welcome to Flying Battery. Already from this first segment, you can tell it's been modified heavily. Flying Battery Zone, one of my personal favorites from Sonic and Knuckles, is very much reworked in the sense that there's not there's not as many instant death pits as before, but it's reworked in that a lot of later uh, elements to the stage are brought into the first act of the stage. Oh wait, hold on. Boost me. Also, the fact that they actually have trumpets now in this. Also, elemental shields. Um, what was it? I was gonna say. I'm, uh, I meant to draw attention to the whole Elemental Shields thing back in uh, Green Hill Zone, but I definitely got sidetracked. Anyway, I'm going to go over on this path, because I feel like it. So, Elemental Shields have... Um, what is it? And elemental Shields function very different in, the, in Sonic Mania than it did in any... Oh, oh I could have gone on top, damn it. Elemental Shields and Sonic Mania function all, are a totally different breed in that they have environment interactions. The Lightning Shield magnetizes, the Fire Shield will burn one things, and the Bubble Shield still does what the Bubble Shield does. Also, I wish to go up. Centrical Force. Centrical Force. And we're off. Also, is there something over here? Damn it. That's all I know with flying batteries, is that you gotta just check the walls and sometimes you might find a goodie in there. Ah, uh, poop. Oh, that's still here. Which means this is, oh yeah. Ring field that used to lag the game is up here. Goddamn. I just now, just, oh, what happened? I don't know what happened, I took damage up there. Oh wait, I know where a special ring is. Bye! So just over here is one of the last special uh, special stage rings we'll get at. And now that this is the 7th Chaos Emerald, this one is more of a, well, you did everything else. It's still gonna be a little rough, but have fun, kiddo. So I will proceed to have fun, kiddo. Da, 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 da. Which is saddening because it's the last time we'll get to hear this music. Now, thankfully to the purists out there of Sonic Mania that that I'll probably get my case for. Well, you unlocked it, so you're obviously going to abuse the, the supers, super things. It, sometimes, like I'm a semi purist, but I mean I worked for I worked over. I worked over a smoking controller for three years. Okay, for like three months. I worked over I worked over this game enough where I feel like I've gotten the benefit of being able to use Super Sonic as early as I wish. But even then, well, Super Tails, by the way. But I feel like it's now warranted for me to use it. Also, the boss coming up, we'll just show it off. But Sonic Mania has been nicer about this in that. Unless you unless you press a specific button, you cannot transform. Meaning I could very much I could very much at this point just be like, well, I'm gonna purist this one, so I won't use the super form. I can't I won't use the super form on any boss because I can. But just show it off. Tails of Super. No birds this time. But he, there is super tails. Basically, everybody has a su everybody, everybody has their super form. 
from, uh, from all previous Sonic games, everybody has the super form, except Tails lost his birds. So, bye bye, yellow flickies of death and destruction. Anyway, I'm going to avoid using Super Tails as much as possible throughout this run. I might still pop it on occasion, but just know that I'll avoid using it for the most part. God, it's like I was taken to a galaxy far, far away or something. And now they bring out, and now they bring out the rock, the rock, the rock, 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 rock opera. I don't know, I don't know what the proper conjugated form of that is. You know, let's go down through the trash heap, because not a lot of people will think to go down through the trash heap in this one, in this stage. So, from now on, oh wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought it was gonna be something special. So. I was saying something about about this, and I totally spaced it. Whatever, I'll come back around eventually. Oh yeah, probably the whole fact about going through. So, because you've been introduced to this in a in a previous part, you would never think, oh, you would never think, oh, well, if I go through the stage bottom, oh, well, I have learned where a secret ring is today. Um. Because you've been introduced to junk in previous locations, you would never think, oh, well, I'm going to just... Meh. That's death. Oop. Well, still got the full effect of me being a dumb. Ooh, I get to destroy things now. Also, even though you do get introduced to it at other points... This is where you're supposed to properly get introduced to the whole um, electric electric boogaloo de of death. Well, it's, they're supposed to teach you about it, I should say. Also, I've never been on this path, so this will be nice and interesting to experiment with. Dead? Nope. Okay, good. Not dead. I don't appreciate. I don't appreciate this. I'm feeling really attacked right now. I'm really startled. Oh, it's a scope there. Gotcha. Come. Okay, going over. Yeah, I've never been down in this part here, so I'm actually a little. I don't know. It's it's like playing the game for the first time again. Okay, you had your fun, buddy. Huh? I have no rings. I should fix that before I die. Alright, buddy, you can be done too. Okay. Whose ass do I have to kick to turn off the electricity? You're wasting so much power. Okay, I need to defeat him. He's gonna make doing this a little rough. So, this stage is set up in just... this. Um, the outside weather is pushing you, by the way. But also, by the way, outside outside weather influences. What is this area? What the crap? Oh. Nice. Another place I haven't been to yet. Uh, if, you, if you're outside in the wind, yes, that does push you backwards. The outs or yeah, the outer winds do push you backwards. So, the thing with that is, if you're playing as Sonic and Tails... I feel like this is the Knuckles only segment. Oh well, I'm Tails, I'll go where I wish. Nice. But yeah, the wind out here does push you just enough where if you try and do the whole grab... Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somewhere in here. Um. I think I'm actually stuck. I don't think I was supposed to go over here. Well, that's unfortunate. Anyway, I'll finish my thought and then I'll wait for timeout and I'll come back with you. Um, the wind is blowing just this way where if you're playing in Sonic and Tails mode and you gra you try and grab on the Tails of Sonic to fly higher, the wind pushes you with just the right, like has just enough push where it just instantly knocks you, knocks you out of Tails' hands and you can't progress upward. 
Anyway, I gotta sit and chill here for a few minutes while I time out, so I'll be back with you shortly. I don't know where I'll pick you up with you at. It's a Sonic game. Glitches are bound to happen. I suppose it's about a good enough time to come back in. Because before I die, I need to say that yes, even even though this is a game that's new and it could probably go for a full-on time limit of like a 10, 100 hours, they do keep true to the original Sonic formula of, well, you took 10 minutes in a stage, Sonic's about going fast, you didn't go fast enough. Don't you give me this snark game. I know I timed over, but you glitched. Anyway, if you time over, you just go back to your last checkpoint. Which su Well, actually, I don't think I was too far away from where I wa was before. Nope, I was very far away. Holy cow, yep. A deploying cheese tactics. Deploying every little bit of cheese tactic I can right now. Okay, excuse me. Da -da 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 voice crack. It's too early for me to be singing now. Now I'll take my own. Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to take my own way out. I want to go the same way I was going. Nailed it. Oh, that's gonna end badly. You know, I'm I'm kind of at a loss for words for what, for what happened back there. Actually, let's go a different, a, little, a slightly different path. 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 How about Hell Tales? Oh, 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 oh! Neat. <laughs> oh, totally planned. I'm not gonna use it. I'll keep I'll keep it back on the purest route, so to say. But it's there. There's probably going to be one or two bosses where I'm just going to be like, eh, but, eh, but, but, me. <laughs> wait, 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 this is where I died, but let's be a little bit smart about this. But it's not here? I thought this is where I saw a special ring before. Huh. I always thought I saw a special ring right around here. That's, that's why I did what I did before, because I thought I saw a special ring. I also love how those bombs explode in, t in time with the music. Okay. And there we go. But anyway, um, getting sidetracked very easily. The whole thing... The whole, I'm, I'm actually just trying to lead into conversation points, and I've got no conversation points, but... Help me. God, that actually turned out to be more terrifying than I meant it to be. I'm sorry. Oh. Eggsman. That is the Eggsman. Dun, 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 dun. I want to go up. I want to go above. I want to go above. Ow. Okay. Lesson learned. Don't challenge the game. And I think this is the last approach to the bosses of this uh, area. Let's see if I can... Okay, not quite. Um, hip. Okay, yes, I got in here. Awesome. Never been in this room either. Also, pardon me for one second. Alright, and he's back. So, oddly enough, I have never been in that little area there, despite the s several times I've played through this game now. But anyway, now we're here, finally here at the boss, which, uh, Ragnophobus, look, look away. The boss is pretty simple. All you gotta do is just keep on bopping his bumper and he'll, uh, be stunned. And then when you get to this part, just fling yourself into his bumper and he'll hit, get hit. If you time it just right, you can get two hits. But otherwise, you're just stuck with one. Anyway, let's do this. Huh, I messed that up. And the whole point is you're just trying to bump him into the spikes. Works better just to hit him from underneath to try and hot hit him into the Nope. Do I even take damage from this? I don't think I even take damage from that because I've got the electricity shield. Oh, I missed entirely. 
Okay, you tried, but now the trying is done. Wow, I missed it. How did I miss that twice? With such dead on hits. Anyway, hitting him from up underneath is probably the best way to like inch him towards the spikes on this side. But it also has a little bit to do with momentum. If you hit him with just enough force, you can't hit him into the, into those spikes. And that's all there is to this boss. Simple, no? Anyway. Everyone, I do want to thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Sonic Mania. Next time. Actually, I don't remember where we're going next time. My memory's blank.